What's going on folks, Jay Howe here with the Demon Hunter in patch 2.1.2 bringing you guys another build. Now we have another build that's already been out there. It's for folks that already have the Marauder set. They're ready to go, except they don't have a Kreider shot. And that build is really, really strong and it's one of the best builds you can use to get started. However, if you do have a Kreider shot and especially hopefully one that's better than the one you're looking at here, we're going to go over another build that is extremely powerful and I'm going to show you guys how it can work for you and just how strong it is. So we're going to hit the skills real quick, go over the gear that you're going to need, then I'm going to show you some gameplay and give you guys an idea on how you might want to play this to be able to utilize the gear in the best way possible. For the skills, you're going to be looking at Elemental Arrow with Frost Arrow, Cluster Arrow with Maelstrom, Vault with Tumble, Sentry with Polar Station, Preparation with Punishment, Companion with Wolf Companion, and for your passives, Custom Engineering, Call the Weak, Awareness, and Ballistics. Now, the best part about Kreider Shot is that you will see in the secondary, Elemental Arrow now generates, and this can be three to four hatred. So, this is going to be your hatred spender, as well as it's a, pri like a, it's a main attack. So, that's one of the things that you're going to be looking at there, is you're not going to be using a regular hatred builder that doesn't cost anything. This is going to be your hatred builder, and it works really well. Now, keep in mind, it says enemies hit are chilled by 60% for one second. That's not a very long time. So, to try and get the effect of something like a Bane of the Trap, you're still going to need to try and utilize your Polar Sentry and stuff like that. So, keep that in mind. For your main attack, and this is going to be your big hatred dump here, Cluster Arrow with Maelstrom, and this thing does great. It's going to shoot out extra rockets as well uh, as the regular 550% weapon damage. Those rockets are going to hit for 450% weapon damage. Plus, you're going to get a little life on hit uh, when you do hit targets. Vault with Tumble. This is just going to allow your second vault to be able to cost a little bit less, and this is going to keep you out of danger. You're going to be utilizing this probably quite a bit. So keep that in mind when you are going forward. And again, we'll show you that in gameplay, what you can expect. Sentry with Polar Station. We're going to use this. You're going to, it's going to require strategic placement. It's not that difficult. It's a pretty wide radius. But you're going to be trying to proc your Bane of the Trapped and your Coal of the Weak to be able to get the extra damage there with your Polar Station. Preparation with Punishment. This is going to come around every 20 seconds. This allows you to restore 20, or 75 Hatred. Uh, so this is uh, pretty important to the build. Definitely something you want to keep there. Next up, Companion with Wolf Companion. Uh, you get all of the Companions with your Marauder set. We just like the Wolf because it sounds cooler. Custom Engineering. This is very important. This allows your max number of centuries to go to three, and plus they last a lot longer, which is doubly important. Um, with the Bombardier's Rucksack and the changes to the Marauder set, this is very important to make sure and have five centuries up. The Bombardier's Rucksack gives you those extra two. And with the, uh, the Marauder set here, your Generator's Elemental Arrow, Chakram Impale, Multi-Shot, and Cluster Arrow deal 100% increased damage for every active century. So of course you want to get as many centuries up as possible. It's 500% more damage. Cole the Weak, like I said, you're going to be using Sentry with Polar Station to be able to proc that there. Uh, it's very important to keep in mind when you are placing your Sentries down to be able to get that. Awareness, because you're a Demon Hunter and you are going to die at some point. This gives you a second life. Basically, if you proc the Awareness, you, you, can, you get a second life, and after 60 seconds, that resets and you get another life there. That's very important. And Ballistics. And this goes right back to Cluster Arrow. Those rockets that are shooting out 450% damage, boost those up by 100% increased damage. And that's actually not 100% on top of that, but 100% more damage. So that's going to be a very, very important part. So keeping that together uh, with the skills, that's just great overall synergy. It's got a great cold build. Now, Keep in mind that there are some other options out there. Our buddy Bandit has put together a video uh, utilizing the Frost Burns for the Demon Hunter and changing out a few things. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Maybe you like that version a little bit better. But this is definitely going to be a strong build and get you started. Now for the gear, we're going to go ahead and cover, like I said, the Kreider Shot is going to be the absolute most necessary part for this. Else you're going to run out of hatred and not know what to do with that Elemental Arrow. For the gear, I'm running Marauder, Marauders. Gloves, shoulders, chest, pants, and boots. And a couple things to keep in mind with the Marauder set is that 
where you see right there reduces cooldown of all skills unless you have the trifecta or a really good trifecta you're actually probably going to push more towards resource cost reduction so that you can just spam cluster arrow as much as possible same here you see that we have uh, resource cost reduction dex vitality and sentry damage that's a pretty decent role there uh, you can definitely get better stats especially with the ancients out now so for your chest piece get sentry damage rolled on there for your boots make sure and roll cluster arrow damage on there since you are going to be doing the main amount of damage there now my bombardier's rucksack i've been trying to roll this over i'm at about nine million per roll to try and get that over to cluster arrow uh damage but we're not having much luck so roll cluster arrow damage there if you can it's very tough because there's so much to roll for a belt a witching hour here if you don't have a witching hour you can certainly go with anything else if you're running regular t6 then a harrington is going to work really well for you because there's a lot of stuff to click on and you'll be clearing content very very quickly um, ring of royal grandeur of course to make that six piece bonus work that way you can run a different helmet um, that's going to be very important for the helm which is the next part pride's fall this can be farmed from act three cash by doing bounties in adventure mode keep that in mind you're going to see the secondary stat there your resource co your resource costs are reduced by 30 percent after not taking damage for five seconds in greater rifts this might be a little difficult especially in certain circumstances it's going to be very difficult you actually see the buff here pop up just above your action bar we're going to show you a ways to kind of keep this up as much as possible and minimize a lot of the damage that you're going to take but that is a very easy item to find another item here that makes this really easy is the reapers wraps because you can craft these getting cold skill damage and crit hit chance on here is important as well as your dex and vitality as you can see in the secondary health globes restore 26 percent of your primary resource so that is very important there uh, to be able to utilize that as well now if you're running solo especially greater rifts you're going to put a unity here uh, make sure and have a unity on your follower if you are looking for how to gear your follower you can find that on the channel as well uh, in this case we are not doing uh, anything too high right now so we're actually utilizing the compass rose to be able to get because that has five primaries that we can get there and then we're also running that with the traveler's pledge so that we can get the two two set bonus of crit hit damage and some extra vitality there so that's it for the gear as far as paragon points you want to max out your movement speed first and since you have the pets up that's going to be 10 percent there and if you have any on your gear keep that in mind you will cap at 25 percent max hatred is very important here because when you have the opportunity you want to be able to spam cluster arrow as much as possible then go ahead and throw the rest of your points into dexterity now if you don't have high crit hit chance like i do i'm already at 55.5 percent don't put any points into attack speed put them into crit hit chance but your order of importance should be cooldown reduction crit hit damage and then probably crit hit chance but in this case because the crider shot is a little bit slower we're actually going with attack speed because we can afford it if you can't afford it like i said go with crit hit chance but cooldown reduction will help your companion it will help your preparation come around and both of those are going to supply you with hatred so it's very important plus it's also going to take down the cooldown of your sentry charges for defense resist all armor and then i prefer life regen although you can certainly go with life after that life on hit very important in all classes resource cost reduction next up and then area damage after that and if you've got a bunch of points you can certainly just throw some into gold fine now if you're just looking for the build and you're cutting off here and you don't want to see any gameplay i appreciate you guys watching for you folks that are sticking around i'll show you a couple key tricks that you're going to want to utilize with this build to be able to keep prides fall up as much as possible and to get an idea on how you want to use this build so stick around for that for those that are dropping off here thanks for watching if you did like what you saw feel free to hit that like button below if you got any comments also leave those below on what you think of the build so let's do some gameplay and uh, make this thing happen so we're going to go in we'll go ahead and hop into halls of agony level three and the whole idea and if you don't have a crater shot like i said go ahead and watch my other video it also shows you how you can craft something uh, to be able to get a good start but the process here is almost the slower the better to a certain extent you want to be able to stick and move you're never going to stand still and just do this or cast cluster arrow if you do it's very interesting circumstances what you do is you simply drop your sentries and it's going to be a stick and move type strategy and we'll go ahead and get out of danger there and the whole thing is 
and we took some splash damage there the whole thing is to simply continue to move and there you can see prides fall and it's a stick and move process and you can see that our hatred is staying up there we've got all of our sentries up and that guy is dead now I could have done that quicker uh, it's just one of those things I was trying to show you guys the strategy once I have all five up technically those behind me it's about active sentries so technically those are still active and so I'm actually getting the 500 percent damage increase right now and the whole process is you just kinda move through here notice I'm putting the sentries on top of them I'm getting the extra damage and you can just simply walk through here we'll go ahead and it's a stick and move strategy and if you have decent enough gear as you can see you can pretty much walk through torment six um, no problems at all here uh, obviously in greater risk it's going to be a little bit different but the same strategy is going to be even more important in torment six as you go through it's a stick and move strategy you don't want to stand still for too long unless you know you can afford it keeping that prides fall up that 30 percent resource cost reduction is very important so keep that in mind when you are choosing this play style um, if you do run out and let's say you're in a greater rift and you need to use elemental arrow you can see that having all five centuries up we're going we're getting 30 plus million crits here 40 million crit and so as you can see this is not a bad backup secondary that's why it makes it such a strong build um, and like I said while this does while elemental arrow does chill them it only chills for one second so spamming back and forth is not a good option but like I said your century uh, placement is going to be very very important so that's the strategy guys as you can see you can maintain hey, we got a goblin here he's dead nothing fancy no new goblin yet I know there's been a lot of good stuff for you guys out there but that's the build that's the idea when you are running around trying to get this going with enough cooldown reduction you can actually keep that on a pretty good uh, pretty good rotation there as you can see we just blasted those guys in just a handful of shots that's what I'm talking about that's how strong this is I know there was a lot of talk about the nerf but it's not really a nerf when you're doing 100 plus million crits on <laughs> on a very very rapid succession so um, like I said, if you guys like the build and you like what you saw, feel free to hit the like button below. That is always appreciated. Or just leave a comment and let me know what you think of the build. If you haven't subscribed already, we're going to be doing a lot more Diablo videos that are going to be just, uh, there's a changes and hopefully more changes uh, in the next few months as well. So we're going to be playing this, keeping up with a bunch of different stuff. I'll, I'll let you guys know if there's any new builds that come along. There wasn't a ton of changes. But uh, some of the changes definitely changed the build quite a bit, namely the, uh, the Demon Hunter as well. So, uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed already and you want to do that, feel free to do that now. Um, I, I always appreciate you guys watching all the feedback you guys leave. So, anything you got to say, feel free to leave that below. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Happy hunting. We'll see you again.